Now say for example that I already have 500 pounds of coffee or 500 counts of muffin in the stock which is my reorder point. What if I run MRP again, MD03? Nothing happens, right? We have seen that example when we try to procure coffee beans. So as long as that reorder point stock is there and we are planning that material based on reorder point, it doesn't matter how many times you run MRP. It's like my house is stocked and it doesn't matter how many times I go to the supermarket. I don't need stuff. Because I don't need stuff, I'm not going to buy anything. What will trigger me to go to the supermarket and buy again? Anything that makes the stock of this material to go below 500. For example, if I have produced or procured 500 pounds of coffee beans, keep it ready and I am consuming, let's say, 100 pounds of coffee. What happens now? If I run MRP MD03, it should trigger a purchase order in case of coffee beans or a production order or planned order in case of muffins so that it can cover this shortfall, right? These actions, like stock withdrawals, it could be internal consumption, it could be a customer placing a sales order, any stock withdrawals or let's say we have created a PO and the PO has been cancelled for a variety of reasons. He called and said, hey, I cannot supply this week. So the PO is cancelled. What do you do? Any such kinds of things like PO cancellation or stock withdrawals. These kind of events will trigger what I call a dirty flag. So these things will trigger a dirty flag. Events that signify that next time MRP runs, something should change, right? Let me give you an example for this. Say for example, you have determined in your home that you need 10 pounds of wheat or wheat flour. So you have raised a purchase order with Amazon and it's going to come sit in your pantry at some point in time. What if the order got cancelled because maybe because the credit card was declined at a later point or maybe because of a variety of reasons. So in cases like that, what do you want to do? You want to plan again, isn't it? So cancellation of a PO is a trigger point in my mind that, hey, Amazon has cancelled my 10 pounds of wheat order, so I need to replan it. Or I have ordered 10 pounds of wheat, but suddenly or wheat flour, let's say, baking flour, and suddenly there is a party or there is a birthday or something of that sort where I had to make or manufacture 100 muffins or 50 muffins in my house, which consumed some or all of the wheat that I have or wheat flour that I have. That is again a trigger for me to replan, right? So where are these dirty flags stored? These dirty flags are stored in something called as a planning file. So a planning file, transaction being MD21, is where for every material plant combination, dirty flags are stored. And this dirty flag tells SAP that next time MRP runs, you have to do all these equations again. What's coming in? What's going out? What is the net that I have? What is my reorder quantity? All that calculation. So it's a trigger for the bot MRP run to start thinking again. Hey, something has changed. Go do your logic. All right. I'm not going to do anything with this production order, but, but let me just consume like 300 pounds of coffee beans and see what happens. Now, if I go to MD21, 
for coffee executed. Do you see these two indicators? Net change planning, net change planning horizon. These are the dirty flags that I was talking about. So if they are dirty, if this material is dirty, that means the bot requires planning, this will be set to X. Now since they are not set to X at this point, nothing is going to happen. You want to test it? Go to MD04. Look at what's happening here. There is a purchase requisition. Okay. Now go run MD03 for coffee beans. Enter. Enter. MRP carried out. Now go to MD04 again. For coffee beans, is there a change? No, there is no change. Right? Because nothing has changed. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to withdraw a certain quantity of coffee beans, say 200, right? So coffee beans, 11, and a quantity of, let's say, 300. And they're going to be issued against a cost center, all right? So somebody in the company is consuming 300 pounds of coffee beans and let's say the admin department is consuming 300 pounds of coffee beans. So check if everything is okay and save it. Now let's go to MD21 and check the planning file for the same material. You see the dirty flag on? This means, now don't worry about what each of these flags mean at this point. What this means now is that MRP, the next time it runs, looks at the dirty flags and sees that, hey, something has changed. So I need to work accordingly. I need to work my logic. If there are no dirty flags, that means MRP just looks at the dirty flags. If there is no flag, it just ignores the MRP run. It just says, okay, I'm done. But if it sees a dirty flag, that means that something has changed. It needs to go rework its logic. Now let's go to MD03, run MRP for the same coffee beans material. Hit enter. MRP carried out. And let's see if something has changed in MD04. You see that? The purchase requisition is changed from 100 to 400. Earlier, the purchase requisition quantity was just 100 because 400 was available already and SAP is placing an order for 100 more. Now, I have consumed 300. The purchase requisition has been changed to 400. If you don't trust me on this, we can do something. Let's go to MIGO and consume 50 more pounds of what? Of coffee beans 11 and quantity of 55. Again, an odd number so that we can see what's really happening in the Chicago plant and coffee beans storage location. And they're being consumed against, say, the admin cost center. Okay? So check if everything is okay. Everything seems okay. And before I do that, let me go to MD21, the planning file, and show you that the dirty flags are off. Okay? The dirty flags are off. They're not X anymore. That means MRV has nothing to do now. And save. So we have consumed 55 in quantity of coffee beans, 55 pounds, let's say. Now, let's refresh this. Dirty flags are on. Now, remember this quantity of 400? This should increase by 55 because we have consumed 55. Right? So, go back. Open another window or in the same window. Run MD03. Now, because the dirty flags are on, MRP is going to run. Enter. MRP ran, 
and over here let me refresh this and you see this change 455 right so we have learned two things here or rather three things what is a planning file a planning file contains parameters or what I call dirty flags that tell MRP to rework his magic and if the parameters are not there the dirty flags are not there MRP just looks at the planning file oh, okay there's nothing to be done just ignores it the second learning is if the dirty flags are on that means some withdrawals has happened or PO cancellations have happened something has changed that triggers MRP not to run again but to consider everything to be run again and when you run MRP MRP looks at the dirty flags and if the flags are dirty it proceeds to run the process again if yes run the process if no exit the third learning is assuming that MRP has run depending on the settings the elements the MRP elements like purchase requisition or planned order the quantity is changed for example the original purchase requisition was for 400 now we have consumed 55 more so it has changed that same purchase requisition to 455 it did not create a new purchase requisition right or new planned order it changed the existing MRP elements now this is based on lot size 